ሰላም ሰላም ውድ ቻናችን ተሳታዮች ዛሬ ይችላል ቸከረኩት አናሊቲክ ሜተድ ኦፍ ቬክተር አዲሽን ነው እንደተለመደው ቪዲዮአችንን ላይክ ሼር እንዲሁም ሰብስክራይብ በማድረግ ጀምሩን ጠይቃለን ወደ ቶፒካችን እንዳለ today we will discuss about vector addition part 2 from grade 11 last we are discussing about vector addition which is geometric method of vector addition under geometric method of vector addition we are discussing about triangle method of vector addition polygon method of vector addition also parallel method of vector addition today analytic method of vector addition we'll see under this the first step step 1 if two vectors if two vectors a and b in the same direction in the same direction then the resultant or net is given by the algebraic algebraic sum of their magnitude of their magnitude for example if two force vectors 3 newton and 4 newton if they are in the same direction then the resultant or the net force is given by algebraic sum of their magnitude which is 3 newton plus 4 newton which is equal to 7 newton so what about the direction of the net or the resultant is is in the direction of the vector the two in the direction of the two vector which is given by this vector step two if two vectors a and b opposite direction opposite direction then the resultant the resultant is given by algebraic sum of their magnitude algebraic difference i mean difference of their magnitude For example, from the above example, let's take 3 Newton and 4 Newton vectors. They are in opposite direction. Then the net or the resultant vector is algebraic difference of their magnitude, which is 3 Newton minus 4 Newton which is equal to under absolute value minus of 1 newton then the net or the resultant is equal to 1 newton in this case the direction is in the direction of a greater vector the greater vector is 4 newton hence the direction of the resultant is in the direction of 4 newton third or step 3 if two vectors a and b makes 90 degree for example 3 newton and 4 newton they make 90 degree from previous lesson 
if two vectors join tail to tail, then the resultant is the diagonal from parameter vector addition. And forming a parallelogram here, then the resultant is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse from your mathematics lesson, if this is 3 Newton, also this is 3 Newton, then the net or the resultant is given by a radical 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is equal to square root of 9 plus 16, which is square root of 25, the answer becomes 5 Newton. What about the direction? The direction is given by tan inverse of opposite, which is 3, over adjacent, 4. In terms of angle, we can express the direction. Now, here, if two vectors have the same direction, which means if the angle between them, theta equals in this case, 0 degree. In the second case, if two vectors in opposite direction, theta equals 180 degree. The third case, perpendicular, which means if they were make 90 degree, the resultant is given by using this equation. If the, the force, step 4, if any angle theta between two vectors, if the angle between two vectors A and B, any angle theta any angle theta then the net or the resultant is given by the resultant equals under the square root from cosine rule a squared plus b squared plus twice a b cos theta or from your mathematics lesson cos theta equals the negative of cos of 180 minus theta using this identity we can use the net or the resultant is given by under square root of a squared plus b squared minus twice a b cos 180 minus theta usually we are using this equation if theta is obtuse usually but the first one if theta is acute angle but both using for any angle theta we can use either equation one or equation two we can use either of them now let's derive this equation how can we get the resultant of two vectors if any angle theta between two vectors and the square root of a square plus b square plus twice a b cos theta how we know now let's take diagram between uh, two vectors a and vector b and the angle between these two vectors theta these two vectors join tail to tail from parallelogram method of vector addition now forming a parallelogram from parallelogram method of vector addition, the resultant is the diagonal that starts from the joining of the two vector, then this becomes a plus b or the resultant vector. And a plus b, a plus 
b which is equal to a squared plus b squared plus twice a b cos theta under radical now let's see how consider triangle a the rect uh, paragraph a b uh, let it be c d and from this paragraph we can determine the resultant a plus b by extending each side to form a right angle triangle here if a b c d this becomes let it be uh, e let it be e and c e and b e are extended sides of the parallelogram if this angle theta also this angle theta because these two sides are parallel sides now this angle and this angle becomes corresponding angles corresponding angles now this side let it be since it is an extension of a let it be a prime and this one is be the extension of a b let it be b prime but we don't know about b prime and a prime so we should have to express it in terms of a known variable now consider triangle b e c which is smaller right angle triangle smaller right angle triangle a prime becomes the opposite sides of right angle triangle from your mathematics lesson this one is hypotenuse opposite and this one is the adjacent if this angle theta then opposite equals hypotenuse times sine theta sine of theta and the adjacent side becomes adjacent equals hypotenuse times cos theta we have this now a prime in this case becomes the opposite sides of triangle BEC therefore a prime becomes hypotenuse which is a times sine theta and also b prime which is adjacent sides the adjacent side becomes hypotenuse which is a times cos theta this becomes unknown variables becomes uh, expressed in terms of a known variable we know a we know theta a and b given also theta is given unknown unknown variable with a known variable express marak chilana khalazi consider consider a larger right angle triangle which is a e c a e c it is it is right angle triangle if it is right angle triangle we can use pythagoras theorem and from pythagoras theorem hypotenuse ac or a plus b a plus b or ac squared this equals to a e a e squared plus e c e c the whole squared but a e means a e which means b plus b prime b plus b prime plus the whole squared ec 
E C which is equal to A prime and X plus B prime with a known variable which is A cos theta which is equal to uh, under the bracket B plus B prime which means A cos theta A cos theta squared plus a prime which is a sine theta a sine theta the whole squared b plus a cos theta squared which means b plus a cos theta b plus a cos theta a cos theta multiplied by a cos theta which is a squared cos squared theta a cos theta times b which is a b cos theta which is plus b times a cos theta again it is a b cos theta b times b which is b squared which is b squared plus a b cos theta a b cos theta twice a b cos theta plus a squared cos squared theta now using this b plus a cos theta squared which means b squared plus twice a b cos theta plus a squared cos squared theta plus a sin theta squared which means a squared sin squared theta from this <coughs> now the common factor a square a square which is b squared plus twice a b cos theta plus a square a square we can factorize it into cos square theta plus sin square theta under the bracket again from your mathematics lesson trigonometric identity sin square cos square theta which is equal to one and a plus b the whole square which is equal to b squared plus uh, twice a b cos theta plus a square times one the number itself now using commutative property of addition a squared what is even number now plus b squared plus twice a b cos theta which is equal to a plus b the whole square both sides under radical a plus b or the resultant of a and b is equal to and radical a squared plus b squared plus twice a b cos theta now how can we determine the direction of the resultant to determine the direction of the resultant again let's angle between the resultant force and vector b let it be beta but we don't know about beta now express it in terms of a known variable with a known variable to express tan inverse of beta which is opposite side which is equal to a prime over adjacent side a e which is b plus b prime b plus b prime then tan inverse of beta which is equal to a prime as we've seen here from a sine theta over b plus b prime b plus b prime which is a cos theta example here 
given two vectors a which is eight unit and vector b which is six unit find the resultant or a plus b if the angle between them zero degree which means if the angle between them zero degree same direction solution from the previous lesson here if two vectors a and b in the same direction which means if the angle between them zero degree then the resultant is given by algebraic sum of their magnitude which is a plus b equals uh, eight plus eight unit plus six unit which is equal to 14 unit or using a formula using or using a formula a plus b equals un radical a squared plus b squared plus twice a b cos of zero degree cos zero which is equal to one then this becomes un radical a square which is eight square sixty four plus b square 6 square which is 36 plus twice a which is 8 times 6 cos 0 which is equal to 1 then this becomes 64 plus 36 which is 100 plus 2 times 8 times 6 which is 96 and radical 196 then this becomes 14 unit the right answer similarly if the angle between them 180 b a plus b 180 which means opposite direction if they are opposite in direction the resultant or a plus b is algebraic difference of their magnitude which is 8 minus 6 which is equal to 2 then if the angle between them 180 the resultant is 2 unit using equation cos 180 which is minus 1 minus 1 corner double then a plus b equals and radical 64 plus 36 minus 96 which is equal to square root of 100 minus 96 again this is equal to square root of 4 which is equal to 2 and the third one if the angle between them 90 degree using a Pythagoras theorem a plus b equals and radical a square which is 8 square 64 plus b square 6 square which is 36 this becomes square root of 100 then the resultant becomes 10 unit d if the angle between them let it be 60 degree again from a general formula which we are deriving a uh, drive using uh, diagrammatically any angle between two vectors any angle theta then the resultant is given by a plus b equals and radical a square which is 8 square 64 plus 6 square 36 minus no plus twice 8 times 6 times cos 60 
and cos 60 which is half then this becomes square root of 100 plus half 1 over 2 by 1 over 2 this becomes 48 square root of 148 unit and the last one e if the angle between them 180 a plus b since it is obtuse angle we can use the second alternative if the angle, if, if the, if the angle is obtuse we can use the second formula this becomes an radical 64 plus 36 a squared plus b squared minus twice uh, 8 times 6 times cos of 180 minus the angle 120 120 if we don't know uh, angle uh, the cos of 120 we can use this formula then this becomes square root of 100 minus cos 180 minus 120 which is 60 cos 60 which is half 1 over 2 by 2 then 2 by 2 8 times 6 48 this is equal to square root of 52 now from this activity we understand that not not the possible the possible resultant of two vectors is between the maximum maximum if the direction the same direction and the minimum minimum which is opposite to Newton then the possible resultant of these two vector is between the maximum and the minimum 